Hello everybody, today we're gonna be I'm gonna be showing you guys how the basics of using Bridge V2, which is a modding website for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I'm currently gonna it is currently on version two is bridge so it's v2 point and it's point seven point four currently which is the current um update it's on so you want to go new project you'll see these so basically these two the dependencies will basically set it to b basically it'll set it as a dependent the dependencies basically set it when you put on one it'll put on the other automatically for you just for just uh, just so it's um easier to do just set these both to, like that and since this is a test usually you want to go through these figure out what they do but for this video since we don't really have a specific goal if you don't have a specific goal or you have a lot of things you want to do for it like a lot of different types of things just select all of these or just as a but I usually just like turning them all on since it doesn't really change anything. Project name. It's pretty self-explanatory. Over here in description, this will actually show in the pro for the in-game. So you can change that however you want. Alright, so we'll see, be able to see that. Okay, so the author, you would type in, of course, what you want other people to see, but for, in this case, again, prefix, you want to change, you want to, this will basically make it towards when people are you doing commands to get it, instead of like the Minecraft, call, like raw cod or whatever, it'll, instead of it being Minecraft, it could be survival, so if you're model survival aspects, like the what, what you saw on my front page, which is the mod I'm creating. So, for example, let's just do test. But no capitals. Can't have a caps on that. Everything else is fine with that. Project icon. Let's just say we did, um... I'm a slander. I made that a, a long time ago. Then you can do this to the most recent, but in my... Okay, so you should usually put, keep it what it says. And I, but you don't really need to do research or anything for this, only if you really want to. But what I like doing is just adding to 1.20 in general, but for this tutorial, we're going to keep it 1.20.4. We're going to create this, and then you'll see it opens up test.json. That is for the behavior packs. This is behaviors. This is resource packs. This is basically, yeah, well, this, you can tell, textures, tech, sounds, render controllers, models, and entity. It's basically textures, the models, all of that. Over here, the behaviors is more of the, the functions for it, what it drops, the way it interacts with the, with the environment around it. In description, this is, this stuff, so summonable, that means command, with commands you can summon this, en this entity. Um, when you first make one, it starts you off with an entity. But, so, I'll be showing you guys how to make your own custom, um, thing, other than entities, in a second. But for stuff like summonable, you can set it to false, which will, makes it towards with commands, you cannot summon it. So that's true. Spawnable removes the spawn egg if it's false. And if true, it has a spawn egg. It's experimental, blah blah blah, it doesn't really matter right now. Component groups, that's more useful, for, that's useful for events, but for now we're going to go look at components. So we do Minecraft. Uh, what should we do? A, yeah, avoid block. Target blocks. We could do honey. So say it's like a bug, it would avoid honey or whatever. So you can, um,. Type in the um, like a slime block, honey block. It'll avoid those blocks. Or, so you can do that. You can set its priority, which is basically the priority that it will avoid these blocks. The sort the radius that it will that it will avoid these. So if it's within three blocks, it'll run away from it. And the cert and how high it will be. Usually you should just set that to zero, so it's only looking on a horizontal axis. So um, X and Z. But if you want it to look in all directions around it 
for that and avoid it from all directions and you want to then you should add height then you should add height and put it say three but usually you should just go through here and do that if you want it to be just um no like up It'll only search the sides for it you can make it run faster so we don't want sp that's only so sprint speed modifiers only if you have sprints enabled but walk speed modifier so it's just walking around say it'll go five times as fast but double the speed likes to autocorrect you want to go through here and do that if you're wondering what if you want if you if you are on bridge and it seems that this is different and it, you can edit the text itself and not like the little blocks like this then you want and you want to be like this it's more it's a lot more simple you can add stuff to it and you don't have to learn all the stuff for it using um, external sources so you want, so if you want to change that to be like this you want to go to project settings and you want to go to your editor and you can see tree editor and raw text so you would usually start with raw text as you can see there and it's not going to work right now because we save and close Entities, it'll do test.json, but now it's that. So, yeah. Um, there's also a setting that has for these, but you can, but you should really like go through the set. If you go prod, remember project settings, or you can just go settings, which is added in the recent update. That's why I didn't know about it. But, um, project settings or just settings. So bracket pair colorization, if I turn that off, these things don't have colors anymore. The reason that it's for each pair, so you can check that one. All of this is linked. That to that one is linked. So that you can see that the target blocks, it would in those target blocks, the brackets holding that with these two brackets, and it shows you those two brackets are holding in everything in there. Since this is all the entity, this is all inside of that for all the stuff for the entity. Now we're gonna save and close. We're gonna go in back into your into the settings, tree editor. Now you want to go over to so if you want to make a new kind of file, not or just an entirely new thing, you want to go to this three dots right here. You can export. This is how you export it. You can also go here, but I like to go over here because you can look through all this. You want to do MC add on. Or you can do bridge project, which I'm pretty sure is a zip file. I do not remember. And then once you do that, you want. You can do like that. But that, that's how you export. Like, that's how you like get the mod into Minecraft. And then it'll, once you export it, it'll go into your files. Double tap that file and it'll put it into Minecraft. And then blah, blah, blah. I'll have another. I have another video on that. So, yeah. If you want to go new file block you can make a few pre there's a presets for everything entities for there's not all the mobs in the game but there is a pretty large amount of them but if you're just making a completely new mob you should not go for these for these presets if you these presets are better for like looking through the code of a mob so you're like how do i make a mob climb when like, climb up vertical surfaces then you would like look for the spider see spider and then you just like do like just go quick create you can delete it when you're done anyway item same as the others now simple files this is the most useful one if you're ever making if you're making anything other than a block entity or item you go to simple files attachable that's like attachable biome block just a blank block which is also right here but that's just a block. Very customizable. Camera presets, client animations, custom commands. And if it's blue, it's a resource pack. If it's red, it's a behavior pack. That's how you can tell the difference between those. The language, materials, particles, render controllers, spawn rules, server animation, scripts. There's a lot of stuff here. Recipes. This is how you make recipes for items. You're going to need this for if you want to make those. You can even make trade tables. So you can trade with the mob. That's how you do that. That so that sorry, I didn't mean to exit out of that. So say we are we're just gonna make a blank entity entity, but in block bench 
which you can, which I have another video on, you can download. Um, you can't, anyway, you can't, with the, um, blank entity, you just want to do an identifier for this we test, sorry. Only lowercase letters. And then, down here, display name. So that in game, it'll, this is what it would be. So say, um, we'll just put blank. Or let's say our mob was like a zombie. It could be zombie warrior. Or for, and for this, it could be, it could be ZW for zombie warrior. You want those to be, sh you want the identifier to be a shortened or like a more simplified version of this if it's a longer name like zombie warrior or especially if it has two words so you want a, like a simplified version of the identifier to make your life a lot easier now if you press create you see we'll have this again but it'll also open up this this is a lot of stuff that does not really matter right now this is basically like the textures animations and all that um yeah. So since the, since the identifier is test, and the um, okay, if we go over here, it's still test test. We named it test, which is the right one. So yeah, this right one right here, that is test, because that's what we named it. And then test on the left side, since we um, since we made the like the for the whole thing, this entire mod has the prefix is test. So it'll be test test. But, like, that is, you'd put, like, your branding there for your mod, kind of. But not, like, really, you know, like, just one short word. I don't consider a survival short, but, yeah. And same thing with the others. You can add to this. And these things will be different depending on if it's an item or not. And then, finally, if you're ever, um, if you're ever, if you ever have any other qu questions, there is a help tab. It can, it's not the best, but it can help you. Tools, this is amazing. Bedrock Dev tells you about all kinds of things. You can open the Minecraft documentation of a specific thing. Snowstorm is how you make particles for the game. And Block Bench is, of course, how you create all the models and animations and all that. Including blocks, items, all, everything. And it works for Bedrock and Java. Though... This whole entire thing, the entirety of Ridge V2, is made. No, that's not what I meant to do. Anyway, the entirety of Bri of Bridge V2 is made for Bedrock Edition, so this will not work for Java. I repeat, do not use this for Java. It will not ever work. You cannot get this into the Java, so don't even try. Anyway, when you make loot tables, they will be go under here. And if, since these tabs aren't there, for for example, we made a new file that wasn't in these like preset tabs over here, like a custom command language. I don't know the difference between those two. We'll just type. We'll just do JavaScript. But um, we would. There's no TypeScript. Okay. Test. Then you can see it'll make a new tab specifically for these things, but since it's in Java's in TypeScript or whatever, they're um a, it's a bit menacing to say the least. But um, so and then of course you can delete an entire folder, or you can just say we're deleting empty.json. They all have like little presets of functions, tick. These don't really matter. The tick is pro is um usually used for like every once in a while. Do this, or like by random grow this crop. That's how you make crops grow at a specific rate, depending on specific situations. So you can make it tick rates. It's just, there's a lot of stuff you can do with events, which is like the event can be when standing on a block, add tick, or like it can be a lot of things. Mg.json. That is the starting for loot tables, but say we wanted, we didn't want this anymore, or we did something with it, and we just need to restart, whatever you need, whatever reason you can think of to delete a file, you just right-click, delete. Okay. The okay just confirms that you're deleting this file. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, so I think that's all I got for today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I think that'll be all. Goodbye.